Knowledge makes you free, knowledge makes you strong With your heart right in the place You can't be going wrong When the going gets so hard You need to be on guard And all that you have is the Hello dear friends, welcome back to Light of Knowledge International again. Today I am so happy to talk to you once again about health. Good health, holistic health has somehow become a, become a kind of a controversial topic nowadays because there are so much of information available contradicting uh, ideas about health and uh, you know a common man looking at the scenario will be bewildered looking at the, yeah, the flow of information, the variety of theories proposed regarding good health and, and today the reason why we are taking up health is in Light of Knowledge International today we have the privilege of having Dr. Prashant Kakode, a highly experienced medical professional. He is the director of the CIS, the Center for Integral Health based in Cambridge. And more than that, he is a Raj Yogi for the past 42 years. Yes, you heard me right, for the past 42 years. With his vast experience in medicine and in, in meditation, he is the right person whom we can get answers for our questions on holistic health. Let's welcome him to the studio, Dr. Prashant. I feel privileged to have you here in Godlywood Studio on our channel to talk to you about, you know, uh, there are a lot of things as a common man interested in good health and as a diabetic patient, I have been doing some research, my own way, whatever information is available on the internet and let me tell you, it is confusing. You know, uh, they advocate the low carb diet. Then there are other people who say, no, you cannot cut out carbs like that. Uh, it is an integral part of your, your food, it should be. And the other party says, no, the body doesn't need carbs, you know, it can thrive with protein and fats. It is kind of confusing because these views are completely opposite to each other. And still both of them are ready to, you know, go to any length defending their own part of the uh, of the uh, picture so uh, what is good health let us start from there yeah, um, thank you for inviting me in this uh, very very special place and uh, special event uh, a privilege uh, for me to speak to the audience within bharat uh, what you mentioned about the contradictions that we see in the ideas on health, this is not a new thing. Okay. If we see the history of medicine, each generation comes out with the ideas for the treatment and ideas on health and they are so enthusiastic and the whole generation you know, accepts it and uh, adopts it. And then the next generation comes and uh, doctors come in this generation, they say their ancestors were not very clever, they mm -hmm. didn't have the ideas clearly and they have their idea of how to treat different conditions and what the idea of best health. Then uh, the salsa dance is going on <laughs> for another generation mm -hmm. and then the next generation comes with their ideas. 
And so the same story continues in our lifetime. We can see what uh, 1970s, the enthusiasm of that time with certain style and now it is already, you know, being questioned and some other ideas. So this will continue. Your real uh, question there, are we understanding health, what the health mm. is? And are we understanding what life is? And the answer is no. Mm. You know, the present medical system is based on incomplete understanding about mm. the, the whole individual. Mm. So if I was to make a medical system where I completely ignore the heart, for whatever reason, you know, I, I don't like heart, so, <laughs> and I create a medical system and a treatment and everything. Then it ignoring bound, the heart. Ignoring the heart. Then it will be bound to create complications and yes, it will not yes. bring the results. To, to treat the body in, in a, at any level, we need to understand the whole person. Mm. And, uh, and when we are talking about human being, we can't really think of a human being with ignoring the soul. And a present medical system coming from all background, whether it is coming from India or coming from the West, they may have some lip service to the soul, mm. but there is no authoritative insight about okay. at that level. Okay. And so it is incomplete. And uh, they want, and they, there are definitions, spiritual health and the social yes, health. Yes, yes, even the WHO has the word spiritual uh, included in its uh, definition of uh, good health, holistic that's health. That's right, yes. But mm. uh, it is a, a superficial understanding of spiritual. Mm. Mm. To, to really understand, we need to know who the spirit is and what is going on at that level. Mm. In, in, in what way there can be an illness at a at a deep level okay so that then we can address it only when the deeper pro issue is addressed mm. then we will have a healthy body and health at all levels okay uh, before you go on further um, usually in the world i have heard the statement that at least 80 percentage of the diseases that we have are psychosomatic in nature but uh, there was a um, doctor inside the Prama Kumaris who uh, is ready to swear by, uh, as a fact, he said, it is not 80 percentage, I would say that 100 percentage of the disease are arising from the mind. It is the psyche first and then the soma. So do you agree with that? Is it, so can we give it as a, as a, as a thought, uh, provoking thought to the viewers that it is not just 80, it is all the diseases are starting from the mind. Is that right? You know, of course, you know, the soul and the mind have plays a huge part. Okay. But all conditions are multifactorial. Mm. Like, mm. for example, someone can drop something here and uh, break my bones. Okay. It is not coming from my mind. It okay. will come from outside sources. Mm. So the all kinds of factors are there, okay. but they agreed. The mind does play a major role mm. in, in the creation of the individual problems. Okay. So uh, when a viewer watching this want to start with the basics of good health, where do uh, he or she start? I mean, um, what is the first step to be taken? Because we all uh, know a little bit about you know good diet and you know even uh, there are a lot of videos coming on YouTube and you know focus on your gut health it is your gut bacteria that decides even how you feel and how you move so there's a lot of awareness yes. on such topics and people are taking care you know uh, I uh, talked to a few random people who came to the headquarters and they had great idea about it. This is, I'm starting my day with apple cider vinegar because they understood the importance of gut health and how fermented foods help the gut. So we have an awareness on general health. But still you say unless uh, we understand about the, the spiritual part of it, the soul, mm. uh, 
you cannot understand health as a whole. Yeah. Okay, in your uh, practical okay. advice, what can anyone do to improve their health? Very, very simple. To pay attention to three things. Okay. One is sleep. Mm. One is diet. Okay. And third is exercise. Sleep, diet and exercise. Yeah, just these three. Okay. Anyone can... But you didn't to, mention meditation. Ah, we will come to this. Okay. Uh, it is a, completely. It is a root. In okay. Okay. That is a different okay. department. So, first sleep. First uh, sleep, and diet, diet and exercise. And exercise. Okay. For example, we are connected with sleep. If a person pays attention that he has a right amount of sleep, undisturbed sleep, you're not trying to see that there is no noise in that house where he's uh, sleeping in his mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. There are no lights in his room and not disturbed uh, often. If he d takes that caution and uh, avoids unnecessary caffeine and uh, you know, drinks mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. it disturbs the brain. And really. late night snacking. Mm -hmm. Those kind of things. Then, and sleep is paid attention to. Little. You know, the, most of the, the people, once there is awareness, they can make these little changes and get a good sleep. It has huge influence on the health, long-term health of the body. Exercise. Yeah, at least 20 minutes of good exercise every day. Anyone can introduce. Mm. It can be fast walking. Okay. Like if you are going up the stairs, don't wait for the lift. Climb up the stairs. Mm. You know, just let the body get exercise. We are made for that. Our ancestors okay. walked okay. at least six miles each day for their mm. basic existence. We don't walk that much, so we should take the opportunity. And the third is diet. Diet. The simple formula to remember with, in connection with diet. We we get a variety of you know. So, so there is, it is not a problem of undernutrition. Mm, mm. It's a problem of overnutrition. Yeah. That is a problem of present. Yes. Work. In the, one simple slogan to remember for this: first half of the meal that we eat keeps the body alive, and the second half of the meal that we eat keeps the doctor alive. <laughs> and if he's, one is still eating after that, then it is keeping the dentists alive and it keeping the psychiatrist alive. It is keeping creating lots of employment. But the body needs the first half of the meal. <laughs> this understanding is there in our Ayurvedic mm -hmm. in the, uh, knowledge. They say you should stop eating when you are still hungry. Okay. Um, connected to this, it's, something is coming into my mind. I heard somewhere that uh, 150 grams of food is all you need for one meal. Uh, is it, do you agree with that? Is that a right kind of information? It is more what the uh, what the details, what we are eating. Okay. okay. And that is more important. But the point is, you know, portion control is very yes, important. Yes, yes. Mm. And if we eat until I can't eat any more, <laughs> we have spoiled it. <laughs> okay, so mostly, generally, we eat more than we need, mm -hmm. right? More, and that is causing all the problems. More or that contributes to. Mm -hmm. Somebody to was problem. saying, eating is not the solution. Not eating is the solution. <laughs> That's right. But your um, the main is aspect, you know, uh, the you you are ask, asking meditation side, spiritual side. Where does that fit in? You know, the simple common sense tells us that the wrong posture brings pain. The wrong posture. posture. Okay. If I sit in the wrong posture, mm -hmm. it will bring pain. Mm -hmm. If I stay in the right posture, instantly the pain is relieved. Okay. You know, say so if someone sits in a funny pose, place immediately nature gives pain mm. and the same is the principle for illness and all kinds of discomfort we get or a posture is wrong not necessarily the body posture but the posture at different levels we are breaking the law of nature the essence of spirituality 
is that we are not of this world. We are just a visitors on this world. Okay. So remain a visitor, remain a guest, remain a musafir, and then be in this world. That is the posture you know, nature wants us to stay in. Okay, okay. This is interesting. Let us uh, discuss a bit more about that. It is a philosophical understanding mm. that, you know, yeah, I have heard stories of saints giving the same philosophy, you know, understand that you are a, you are a visitor here. But you are connecting that to good health, maybe that is our context here. Yeah. So how does this, this connect? Let us uh, get some more details from you. Yes, yes. So the spiritual principle is that the real me, I am just passing through this world and I have an exit. The real me is invisible. It is not cross. And everything physical is of this world, foreign world. Okay. This is like a, and I have the option to be the honorable guest here. Okay, if Traveler. I am to be a guest, at least let me be a honorable guest. Right? Yes, yes. W when is it that I am not a hon honorable guest? The moment I start to feel I can claim things and I have right on things of this world, or I am I am changing the posture. I am in the wrong posture. I do can claim sometimes. I am I'm here for a long time, so don't you think things belong to me? <laughs> yeah, so um, if I am a guest in this studio for 10 seconds, okay, then I am a guest. If I was in this studio for 10 hours, I am still a guest. Okay. The rules don't change just because. But I am here for, practically I am here for last 10 years, so but then I am not a guest, right? Still you are a guest. The more, as long as we have an exit, then it means I am a guest. Okay. And uh, we have a guaranteed exit from this planet. <laughs> Everyone. Wow, so, that's profound. Let me dwell in that a little. Let me hang there yeah, yeah. for a moment. We have an exit mm. from this planet. Mm. Irrespective of how long it takes to reach that point, still one must remember that you yes. are here as a guest. Yes. Maybe it is not the holiday of a week, it is an extended <laughs> holiday. Yes. But still it is a it's a holiday you are yes. here for. Oh yes. my god, that's so profound. Mm. And the moment we realize it, then the same rules apply. If I was here for ten minutes and I will be vulnerable, I know what is not mine and I shouldn't claim things, I shouldn't demand things. I I conduct myself sensibly. That way you and remain an honorable guest. Right? Then I am a honorable guest. And the same law applies if I am here for 100 years. Okay. At most I am a trustee of things here, but nothing more than that. But I am responsible for the next uh, minutes and hours. I am responsible for this place here. That's all. But I can't claim anything, ah. I can't own anything. We, you are hinting at the fact that we, we claim things, we start to claim things, we start to own things. Yeah. And that is where the problem starts. In a big way, yes. And innocently, just like a child, children, they can claim things and they cry even, even if they are not allowed to take it with them. <laughs> we do the same thing, you know. We even cry because we feel it is absolutely our right. But we are ready to fight to any extent, <laughs> to, to, you know. It is, we talk about our rights and, you know. Yeah, this leads to the wrong posture. Uh, uh, now posture. I understand what you mean by posture. And then it brings pain, you know, pain, psychological pain, because I feel I am losing so many things. But that same attitude at a deeper level with our senses, body and the senses, that is the cause of pain through the body and the illness of the body. In principle, you know, there are more details to, 
to understand at that level. Doctor, you have just, you know, kind of awakened my curiosity to such a level that I don't want this episode to stop, but we have time restrictions. But on the uh, uh, behalf of viewers, I can tell you that we want you here again mm-hmm. uh, to talk about this. So, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thanks a lot for coming today. It's a pleasure. So, dear friends, that was profound. And we are going to continue with Dr. Prashant Kakote. So, I would request you to stay with Light of Knowledge International. Because we are going very deep. You know, uh, the takeaway, if I can say, put it like that for today, is check your posture. I hope you, you got what he really meant by posture. You know, we are a guest in this world. And if we forget that, we are into trouble. I think all the pain and all the trouble that we are facing today, if at all we are facing, it is coming from this very basic fact that we have forgotten how to conduct ourselves in the world. He said it very clearly that, you know, we start to claim things and own things. And that is the moment we become the dishonorable guest. Think about it. It's very profound. And by the time we come again uh, to you with another episode of Light of Knowledge International. Take good care. It's a goodbye from all of us in the studio.